Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be continuing Hunter Hunter, episodes 89 and 90. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash AJRich123, and let's go ahead and start. Yeah, he was calling him out. I mean, rock, paper, scissors. I mean, that's apparent. I mean, when he does that move, he is 100% focusing on attack. He has been getting a lot, though. Experience, I mean. Oh, damn. He's using that against him. Knuckle is better than I was giving him credit for. I will give him that. As we saw with all the dogs taking advantage of him, he is very kind hearted, for sure. But that's a little too nice, right? Like in a fight? As we saw, taking the dogs, that many dogs. Yeah, he's a bit too nice. He's pulling his punches. Because you know Gone is. Ooh. If you're going to hold back, then Gon's not going to. Oh. That was really close, though, compared. <笑>あと思う瞬間余計な力が入る。<笑><笑> Yeah, but if he continues to mix it up like that and like shake up and confuse the uh, the opponents, it'll work. That's the only way that technique would be able to work more than once on the same opponent is the way he's utilizing it. He's improving while he's fighting, which is something in itself. You have to be talented to be able to do that. God damn. That's some 
Goddamn fast strikes right there. He's matching him. I feel like Knuckle might still win this one, but I know they're close now. I know Gon is so close. Wait, what? Is he doing something different? Oh yeah, that is true. Usually he's way closer. Oh! Oh shit! An energy attack! That is cool! We saw him do uh, that attack with the... Uh, when he was fighting with like the, the ball or whatever. Like he used the attack and then that sent the ball go, you know, going flying or whatever. But this is an actual like long distance attack using it that way. That's creative. That was the only thing that made sense though. Oh. Wait, wait, what? And do it again? He had enough to be able to do that? Good shit, gone. He's still lost because, yeah, he's still, okay. My original analysis was correct. Still closer than I thought. He went overboard. They'll focus on different people. Yeah. He's serious when he shows that face. Don't fuck with him. He's not wrong. Will he ever join the fight? That's the big question. Or is Killa just going to have to find him? True. Gon's been able to have all the experience so far. <laughs> Did Bisky go 100%? They off screened his fight, though. It is really weird seeing her in those clothes like that. <laughs> Looking like she should be in JoJo or something. Ooh. Damn. That was blunt. You only think of the ways you could lose. I've only seen Killa doing this when he left and everything and ran and stuff. I saw it as a good thing. I saw it as, hey, I have to run because I know that we're going to get defeated otherwise. Like, I thought that was him being smart and being and knowing when to leave, when to run, but I didn't really think about, like, maybe he isn't thinking of scenarios where it, he could win, and maybe it's always, the, and I guess since he's done it then, maybe it would continue, so maybe getting that out of his brain. I don't know. There are times that you need to run and leave, uh, but maybe she's implying that there's been times where maybe he didn't need to run. 
But the, especially the last time, it seemed like he had to. He didn't have a choice. I, I don't know. And he definitely doesn't want to do that. That's the last thing he wants to do is leave Gon. Oh. It was just the way he was taught. That is scary as fuck. Oh, oh he actually showed up. I thought shoot might not do it. Perfect. Yeah, that's the fights we've been wanting. I mean... Gone has had multiple fights and been able to fight Knuckle, but the shoot versus Kella fight is something that has been needing to be done. But am I the only one that thought maybe like Killa was going to have to like find him somewhere or something that shoot was just going to keep hiding in the shadows? That's the way I thought it was just going to continue. Um, I it makes me really think a lot what Bisky said about Killa and the way like the stuff that happened in his past, the way he was taught, the way he grew up and the way he thinks in general. And I, I, I didn't really look at it from that side at all, but now that I'm processing it a bit, I kind of can see what she means a little bit. I, I can see Killa is good. It's going to take him a lot. Like it's going to take him time to be able to break a, a thought process like that, that he has established in his brain right now. Um, but I think that could could be bad in the future if he does not break that and he can think of ways to win instead of ways like he could lose in the fight like i i didn't really think he was thinking like that i i mean i knew he was thinking to make sure like everything was going to be fine and to protect gone obviously but i didn't think it was to that extreme i i that surprised me a little bit <laughs> Gotta figure out a good strategy against these guys. Especially Shoot, since you haven't fought him yet. We've seen Gon fight Knuckle so many times now that I'm interested more. Hey, he's leaving! Oh, I thought they were running. I thought he was running for a second. <laughs> yeah, but we've seen these guys fight so much. I'm more looking forward to kill us fight. Though so this will be good, too. Oh, shit. He's going 100%. Hmm. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is happening? What's this chibi thing? What's the but numbers mean? The f it's got angel wings. You can do that? So you're having to pay for it? Oh, God. You don't have good credit. <laughs> okay, that sounds like hell. That's like, uh, if you've ever played an old, like an old school, uh, like Sonic game with Chow, like floating around you and trying to tell you how to play the game and how to jump, jump is jump and push is push. I, uh, it's like you got a fucking Chow following you. Oh God. Why? It's getting bigger. I think it's going to get worse and worse. It's not power level. Oh, it is power level? Can we get over not You can get over 9,000? So now there's power levels. We need a stat sheet for Gon. 
<laughs> You're breaking him! He's gonna lose by too much information! This is too much maths. That's just too much. <laughs> KO! Who would have? This is out of nowhere. Well, that's what I was getting. Like, it seemed like a bank account interest. Don't borrow more than you can, like, actually spend. We're getting a business lesson. And just a lesson in life right now. How much you all will keep going up and up and up and up. Fuck that interest. You don't do something, it'll just keep coming up or going up. Okay, so he won't be able to use any Nen for a month, meaning he wouldn't be able to go anywhere if he lets that happen. This is going to be tough. Every time you use any energy, you're going to have to really think about it. Why does it have to say it in such a cute voice? I mean, if if uh, any debt I ever I've ever had was like, hey, if it, they said it in that voice, hey, you owe another five thousand dollars. <laughs> I I actually I'd probably punch them. <laughs> I, I I actually don't do that. <laughs> I think anybody would get that would probably anger them more than uh, uh, make anything better. Now, how is this fight going to happen? あ、ちもだち。俺は人を傷つけるのは嫌いずつけても心が痛まない。そんな奴だけを相手にできるように。ああ。お前たちに教えてもらう。Where's the third hand coming from? Where was it before? Or the hand was in the cage? But you got your yo-yos! Yo-yo combat, the best kind. It is actually kind of smart, though, to be able to combat a long distance type of ta uh, of attack like this. But you can't just only do that move. Yeah, he's taught like that, so now he needs to counter that 
thought in the back of his head. It's mentally and physically driven into his head. These opponents are so considerate. Could these be the nicest people they've ever had to fight? They have to be. You have to relearn. How long does it take to break a habit? Like 23 days or something? What's the number? I forget. But yeah, it, it takes a while to break habits, especially ones that you were taught since childhood. What the fuck did he do? Did he put that in the cage? You gotta learn to get past it. Appropriate music. Here we go. That makes you want to try as much as you can. Oh shit. He doesn't want to leave, gone. He read him. Gotta be able to get past it. Normally, he probably wouldn't ask. Holy shit, this is getting good, man. Oh, no. Oh, man. When that music started playing, that's uh, some of the... Uh, I, man, I got my heart rate. I thought he was going to get past it there. I. It, it's actually a little pleasantly surprising that instead of him defeating him right away right there and he he had all this motivation and ready to go the opponent knew what he was going to do beforehand which another like every single thing that tells him to run away is happening now his, his opponent knows the move he was going to make which makes Kello want to run away and leave but it's engraved what his brother the way he was trained the way uh, everything since he was a kid it's engraved in his head and he can't get that out without his fight it's like he's in a fight but he's in two fights. He's fighting within himself right now and fighting his opponent, which is insanely hard. But as we saw when he got pumped up, he has a, I think Bisky knew she had to say something like this to get him to change. Say that you're gonna have to leave Gon's side forever if you can't get past this battle, which is gonna make Killa have a fight within himself to be able to get past this. This is the only way, because how do you ex even expect to go back uh, and fight the unknown if you can't get past this fight in any way. Like both of them, really, Gon and Killa have fighting. You have to win these fights. So Bisky was very smart in like the way she kind of uh, did this training and and especially with Killa. I, I like what she said to him because this is what's really driving him now, but this is gonna be a major challenge. Um. Yeah, I, I, man, these episodes are getting real, real good, but this one just got, I, I think it's because I really, really like Killa as a character, and it, I, it sucks to see him run and, and be, you know, he didn't get to fight like he wanted to, and he had to run last time, so I really hope he can get past this, because I feel like Killa is definitely one of the, the at least potential-wise, I feel like Killa has the, one of the biggest potential in the show, Gone and him are like neck and neck, but I feel like Killa has the, I, I know this might, you guys might not agree with me, but I feel like Killa has the most potential if he can kind of let go of things and stuff. I think Gone has like pure strength and we've seen him go like, so I mean, see how strong he is, but I, I don't know, potential wise, that's just my opinion. 
Uh, you can let me know what your opinion is in the comments. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash AJRich123. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.